another smoothie bowl welcome back to my channel so today i'm making some very dragon fruit kind of smoothie these are the ingredients that i'm using peanut butter dragon fruit protein powder almond milk guava granola chai seeds frozen banana and protein powder so i hope you guys enjoyed this one this one was fun to make so i started with almond milk so remember don't put a lot of almond milk because you're gonna make it a smoothie okay and we are not doing that so i did though put a little bit i think for the second one and then it became too watery and then i had to freeze it so these are the ingredients as you can see and i'm making two smoothie bowls for two so as you can see now i'm putting on this peanut butter and i'm learning now to actually measure my ingredients because before i was just putting it all in and i think there's some wisdom in measuring the ingredients because it can also just save you a lot of calories because just because it's a smoothie doesn't mean it doesn't have a lot of sugar so just be careful when you are making this at home try to measure your ingredients it really does help and it is finished so this one was not very watery but the second one was but either way i did free either or i did freeze both of them so now i'm making the second one using the same set of ingredients except for this one i am using blackberries and i also used uh, some dragon fruit and obviously frozen bananas this was also fun to make but like i mentioned i had to put a little bit of milk uh, later as the blender was circulating because it wasn't blending properly and then it became too watery so yeah so anyway now i'm done i'm about to put it in the blender and we are here so yes so this part really is when i had put in more milk i didn't show that part because I didn't feel a need to but anyway I just had to make it move a little bit faster hence why I put more milk and we are done so putting it in the container the smoothie bowl you can see it looks like a proper smoothie this one and yeah as you can see and now we are done so now it's the fun part which you can make it your own I am decorating the top of the smoothie bowl with some toppings so i used one banana for both of them i didn't use two so half i uh, just cut your banana in half and then split it into the two bowls when you are making it for more than one person so already there was banana as part of the main ingredients i was conscious of that but uh, next time if you can try to limit a lot of sugar but today I just felt like having some more banana. So it's really up to you guys. You really need to make your smoothie your own. Um, this was quite filling for the rest of the day. And then had some chai seeds with toppings and chai seeds as well for the second bowl. Really enjoyed this part. I think I want to get more coconuts uh, now because I've seen some smoothie bowls with coconuts which looks quite nice and I want to add that for my smoothie bowls so I'll just see and add something different uh, in comparison to what I've done before so now I'm adding some mixed berries basically mixed berries is a blend of uh, strawberries blueberries cranberry blackberries and all the blurry berries in one package and then I just obviously use it just makes it easier for the toppings because it's a blend of everything now a little bit of granola I didn't put a lot because wow you know sugar so now I'm just adding a little bit of the granola not a lot using one little portion and then the smoothie spoons look at that guys this was fun my sister and I enjoyed these for today and I hope you guys also just find some time in your morning breakfast routine create a routine and make some delicious breakfast for yourself make it a habit do not just make it one thing at a time I mean one day and then don't do it again make this a habit and you enjoy your breakfast time don't forget to like and subscribe bye